Hi Taurus, this is Marishi and Masha Absaloka. Let's see what is the situation as of now and what you need to hear from. Coins out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is it that you need to hear from? Just one more time. All right, Taurians. What is it that you need to hear from me? Taurians out there. Ooh. Your first card is a three of swords. That's painful. Knight of Cups and the Three of Wands. Some of you are hurting right now. My ears are hurting. Some of you are waiting. Somebody to return. Okay? There's something about threes already. With the Three of Swords and the Three of Wands. You're waiting for the return of someone. Okay, with that Knight of Cups, you're waiting for the Knight to return. To come back. Some of you might be dealing with an Aries, a Libra, or probably an Aquarius or a Pisces. Three of Wands is like a merchant who's waiting for the ships to return. And they showed me whom you're waiting for. For this person to return. You're broken hearted right now. All right. So it seems like you've lost something. Something did not work out. All right, Torians, what is your next card, please? Ula. Um, if you look at these cards, the Ace of Cups and the Four of Swords. So there is somebody who is wishing and praying, hoping for somebody to offer you this cup okay that knight of cup uh knight of cups was offering um who was holding on to a cup that is a cup full of love so you want this person to return and offer you uh that commitment but right now you're hurting and that makes sense because when the energies are slightly negative my ear starts to hurt all right, nine of swords. Some of you are losing a sleep over this. Very stressed out, very, uh, very uh, anxious about what has happened. You cannot just stop thinking about what has happened. Like I said, it's, it's quite painful to deal with. You're hurting very badly. Uh, you're convincing yourself things will be all right, but you're not sure yourself. Even though you're trying to convince yourself, you're not really sure if things will be all right. If things will turn around, if that person will come back, you're not really sure. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini or probably a Leo. If this is not a, um, a reading you want to hear, you can leave right now because this is not... Uh, going to be a happy reading. I can just promise you that right now. Okay, don't complain later on. Oh my God, how much how much negativity is there in this reading? Because I can feel it already. All right, moving on. Torians out there, what is your next card, please? Because there is so much pain within your reading, which I cannot overlook. Yes, there is somebody who's hurting and still hoping things will come around. And I am not going to sugarcoat it for you. I am not going to say, oh yes, wait up. Yeah, for the next 20 years and you will get your person back. No, that's not me. And exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, didn't I speak about uh, wait up? You know, and uh, this is what you want to hear. But no. This is a person who has put in the seeds. This is a waiting card. This is a person who has put the seeds. What it is, is waiting for the fruits to come through. All right, moving on. Uh, this is a Taurus energy as well. What is your next card, please? So that's what. If you want to leave, you can leave right now. Uh, Taurians, what is your next card, please? 
This is a person who is not willing to let go. This is a card in the center of your reading. Even after things got fucked up, you know, things just fell apart. The tower has crumbled down. This person is not willing to let go. This person is still holding on to this very tightly. They are just not willing to let it slip out of their hands, even if, you know, it is not in their hands. They still think there is hope. There is still a chance because that three of wands is like this person, uh, you know, is hoping for or is expecting for the other person to return. And this is a relationship situation. If it is not, you, uh, um, it's up to you. Some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn. And you are closed off. You might not want to hear what I want to say. Or at least what I'm being shown. Because you're hurting. And for a pentacles, you are uh, carrying your chest. So you're being a little closed off. Yes, very overwhelmed. You're very emotionally invested into that idea that you will be still able to uh, make this person come back. The what is about the head could be the reason why you're not able to think straight. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian. All right, moving on. Taurians, what is your next card, please? the Harrison, which is again a Taurus energy. Yes, this person, whoever it is, is convincing themselves there is chances for uh, things to get official, even when they're not sure about it. It's just your way of, you know, comforting yourself. Yeah, it's going to be all right. We will get married. This person will come back to me. We will be a family again. That kind of a um, delusion. Delusional state of mind. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo. All right, one last card for the Torians out there. Sorry about that. Torians, what is your last card, please? Page of Pentacles. Because this person believes there is still hope. Okay, even if you are separated right now, I will be able to make things work out the way I want it to. And things will be pretty much stable again. It's just a matter of time. I will try to bring about that balance. I will try everything I can. To turn things around because this person believes that there is a potential to be official again to be committed again and things will be stable again yes this is what they're hoping for the ace of wands to come through you know they will have another chance they will get this person back if they wait Well, the thing is, everything, what you had, okay, what, this is a six of cups, so whatever you had, something has come about, you know, which shook things up in your life, which the foundation which you had once upon a time, the um, love which you had, the uh, compassion which you had, hmm? you had once upon a time, it is not there anymore after the tower happened. Okay, so some kind of a distraction did happen and it is time for you to, with that death card, it is time for you to let it be and move on. Death card speaks about letting the dead be, okay, leaving it in the past and moving on into the future. Because you're still clinging on to 
what you had once upon a time and still hoping that things will go back to where it was before. It's all uh, they want to show me. Uh, <clears throat> I wish you luck, Torians. That's it for now. This is Marishi Yuma Chaloka. Bye-bye.